Hello guys, it's Megan Graham and I just came on to see how you guys are doing today. I'm kind of adjusting my little workspace here. I'm in a totally different spot than I usually am because I have my Christmas tree, um, which is great, but it's right where I usually film. So anyway, I'm set up a little bit differently. I just wanted to come on for a few minutes. Um, this week is kind of crazy for me. Poppy's right here on my lap. So this week is kind of crazy for me because it is Thanksgiving. And so my schedule at the salon is going to be a little bit different. I don't usually work on Tuesdays. So I usually have like Tuesdays and Wednesdays to film. Um, but I'm working on Tuesday just because of the Thanksgiving holiday filling on um, Thursday. And then um, I'm not working on Friday or Saturday as well because my husband and I are spending some quality time. So just getting the puppies ready for a little walk outside. And um, I've been getting the Christmas tree sort of like just seeing if the cat is going to climb it or um, knock it down or anything like that. So far, he isn't really bothering it. He's just sleeping on top of it. Poppy looks like such a mess today. She definitely needs a good grooming. Um, who is on here today? I would love to hear from you guys to hear who is visiting with me today on Yorkie Storytime Live. I always love to chit chat a little bit and also curious what you guys are going to be doing for Thanksgiving and if your puppies are also going to be with you on Thanksgiving or if they're going to be at home. Um, I am celebrating Thanksgiving in Boston with my family and then, um, or I'm sorry, with Jeff, who is my family, my husband. And then we are going to see my mom on Sunday and I have somebody to babysit all the pets because it's just too much time for them to be by themselves when we drive to New Hampshire and stuff. Um, so the last time, I think it's the last time I was on Storytime Live, I was trying out my new aligners to um, straighten my teeth and they wound up being so, so terrible. Um, I had gotten Smile Direct Club and I actually already returned or am returning the whole kit because it was really, really painful and it really hurt to talk. So anyway, not keeping that. I would rather have slightly crooked teeth than um, have trouble talking, <laughs> obviously. Um, hello, Sammy. How are you? It's nice to see you. Sammy says, happy Thanksgiving. I'm in Canada. So we already had Thanksgiving. That's right. It's okay, Poppy. Are you coughing? Come here. Want to sit up? Um, your Thanksgiving, is it in October? I think that's what it is. Um, just checking, but happy belated Thanksgiving. Um, and it's Gina says, hello from Louisiana. Hello. Thank you so much for joining me. How are you? Tiffany, it's nice to see you. Tiffany says, hello, Megan, fur babies and everyone in the chat. Um, so Tiffany, I, I think I wrote on um, the Groomers Harness YouTube and I asked her about which clippers I should get. And she was so, so nice. And she wrote back to me and told me what clippers to get. So my clippers are ordered. Um, I do have a grooming appointment all set at my house with the babies, but I am going to practice on them before the groomer gets here. That way they can like clean up any major mistakes I make, but I can still sort of like play with the clip, uh, with the clippers and start to get used to them. Um, I feel like their bodies have been a little bit long the last few times. So I wanted to clip them a little bit shorter so that it's a lot easier to groom because I've been having a bear of a time <laughs> getting through their hair and I think it's harder on them. I'm so glad that you're good and happy Thanksgiving week to you too. I bet you Thanksgiving in Louisiana is really, really nice. I just imagine it would be. Um, so I just filmed a YouTube video and this week it was literally about Smile Direct Club and I, not to be negative, but just like how bad my experience was. Um, so I'm actually switching to, um, switching to Invisalign and I have an appointment for that. Um, I think like a telehealth appointment so they can assess me next week, but I think it'll be a lot safer to do it with an orthodontist as opposed to just having some company mail me aligners. Um, what do I think about taking a four-year-old Yorkie? Um, well, so a few things. I don't really know anything about you, um, so it would be helpful for you to tell me about your lifestyle. Um, 
Do you have like a very stable lifestyle? Have you thought about all the pros and cons for um, owning a dog? Are you planning on getting dog insurance? Um, do you have someone set up to walk your dog if you're not able to walk your dog? Um, have you thought about if your Yorkie has any health problems? Are you ready for that? So, I mean, basically for me, it's more, are you ready to take on a Yorkie? Um, I 100% think that there is, it's a great idea to get a four-year-old Yorkie. Um, I think that's great. They're always babies. You will always fall in love. I have never met a Yorkie with a personality that I did not love. Um, and also it would be great to give a Yorkie a home. Um, my biggest thing would be just that, you know, making sure that you are really researching Yorkies, which I take it you are because that's probably why you're on here. Um, and, and that you're ready for, um, having a dog like a Yorkie. Um, I would also watch my Yorkies pros and cons video. Um, even though I don't really think of a lot of the cons that Yorkies have as cons, um, I know that a lot of people could think that they're cons. So it's good to really research and see what you think. Um, but I mean, I, I would be just as happy to get a four-year-old Yorkie as a puppy. In fact, I think it might be easier. Um, but yeah, I think it would be great just really if you are, if you are ready for a Yorkie, um, for sure. Um, Tiffany says, I'm so happy to hear you contacted her. She is very good with responding back. Um, what clipper did you get? Um, I wish I could remember the name of it. I can definitely look it up later. Um, I bought it from Amazon. I think they were I think they were about $200 probably. Um, but it's so funny. So I, I know, you know, that I own a hair salon, Tiffany, but of course I don't cut hair. Um, so the stylist at my salon that cuts hair, there's a few of them, they use clippers and I'm going to have to ask them to teach me how to use clippers and also how to maintain them. I know you have to like oil them and clean them and things like that. Obviously they're pretty pricey little pieces of equipment. So I want to make sure to take super, super good care of them. But um, I'm really excited about it. I, it was nice. And she she gave me the name of some thinning shears as well, but I honestly could not find them anywhere online. Um, I did find a pair that looks really good. Um, I have professional hair scissors from when I used to cut hair when I was younger. So I can use those hair scissors. And then I found a pair of um, thinning shears and I just asked, um, Tammy, who works with me at the salon, if they were good thinning shears. And she said they were really good. I didn't want to buy something that was like excellent because of course I haven't been, you know, doing my own dog grooming myself. So I feel like I don't really deserve like really amazing scissors. Um, I don't know if you guys on here know, but real hair scissors get so expensive. So I think the ones that I got were about um, maybe 200 or $220, but there's hair thinning shears that are like a thousand dollars that, you know, top hairstylists use. And obviously there's no way I was going to get that for me to practice cutting my Yorkies. Um, but I'm really excited to practice on them a little bit. Um, I'm hoping actually that maybe over Thanksgiving weekend, I'll get to cut Poppy's hair and that the clippers will have arrived and I can work on her. Um, I like it when their little bodies are taken down super, super short. Um, so I definitely think that I need the clippers to do that. Um, so I'm excited to get those, but I think she's great and she's so awesome. She live streams all the time, which is really great. Um, I've always wanted to really see what a dog groomer does in action. And she's, if you guys haven't watched groomers harness, I highly recommend that you watch her YouTube. Um, Tiffany, who is on here, had recommended it. And I think she's great. She has such a good personality. She's super funny and um, also really kind to the dogs. So it's so nice to see her working on them. I think we can all wish that we had a groomer just like her because she is super, super good. Tiffany says clipper oil and cooling spray. She really likes Kenchi for shears. I brought my first practice shears off of Amazon in a set of four. Yeah, I mean, I think it's like always good when you're just learning how to do something and you're not sure for, you know, that you will absolutely keep doing it, not to invest too, too much. Um, I'm definitely that kind of person that always thinks that I deserve to buy the very best. And I feel like there have been a lot of things that 
I have tried in my life that I haven't necessarily stuck with. And then I wasted a lot of money on those things. So I try to be smarter now about not getting, you know, everything that I think I need when I, when I think I need it, but kind of like upgrading as I deserve it. So anyway, it will be a really good starter kit. Um, hopefully I won't come on here with any terrible haircuts that I've given my Yorkies, but um, I think that if I just practice little by little, and I also do it before the groomer is coming, just in case um, she needs to kind of even some things out, that will be the easiest thing. But I did cut Lola's hair quite a bit, um, probably about two weeks ago, and I think it looks good. I haven't, it hasn't been bothering me. Um, I definitely cut her legs quite a bit shorter. I feel like everything was just really long the last time, so I took quite a bit of extra hair off. And Sammy says, my husband wants us to get another Yorkie. We have Augie and Penny, so that would be three. Um, hmm. I mean, it just depends, right? Like three Yorkies. I know I have three Yorkies. Three Yorkies is a lot of Yorkies. Um, definitely a lot more vet appointments, much more expensive for the insurance. They need that many more baths and things. Um, it's definitely a lot of work to have three Yorkies. So I feel like it's good to make like a pros and cons list. I totally agree. And you know, I wouldn't obviously give up any of my Yorkies and I love them more than anything, but I think I will say, I think it is exponentially easier to have two Yorkies than it is to have three Yorkies. Even um, like we're going to my mother's house to have Thanksgiving. And if I had two Yorkies, I would most likely bring me Yorkies, but with three, it's just a lot to manage. Um, so I feel like when you have two Yorkies, you can bring your puppies to do a lot more. Um, the other thing as well, though, with, you know, with going to my mom's, one thing that I didn't really think about is that we got Simba. And for you guys that don't know, Simba is my Siberian cat. And Simba's so wonderful. And I, I, I love him. He's the best cat ever. But he's really, really social and he really likes to be with everybody. Like he's on the couch right now. He's just sitting like slightly away from us. And so when I first was getting him, I thought, oh, I can leave Simba sometimes because he's a cat. Um, and actually I can't. He's just as needy as a Yorkie. So I would feel really terrible. Like I could bring all three Yorkies, but the problem is then I would have to leave Simba and Simba would be so sad to be left on his own. So it's interesting, um, you know, even, not that I would ever, like, I love that cat. I, I cannot express how much I do, but I didn't really think about how much even getting a cat would actually tie me down even more um, because it would be really, really hard to bring a cat with me but he really wants to go. So my mom already has two cats. And if she didn't, I could probably bring him with me. Um, but whereas she has two cats, they would be super, super upset if I brought my cat. So anyway, the more pets you have, the more difficult it gets to bring them with you. And I will say like, it was very, very easy. A long time ago, I only had Teddy and it was just so easy to bring him everywhere because it was only one dog. So one, one dog is the very easiest, although sometimes they're a little bit lonely. Um, and two dogs is perfect because they have company. Um, three dogs is, it can be a lot sometimes for sure. Um, I forgot to get, I like to get a paper towel so I can scrape off their little eye boogers. And so I am going to just hop up and get that really quickly because this, this little baby, look at her. Oh, she's so cute. I love you. I love you. Yes, I do. I'll be right back guys. Oh, Alfie, you really need your face brush, don't you? Here we are. Sorry, guys. So Amanda says, I have an AKC Yorkie. Could I mix it with an AKC Party Yorkie? Um, I would definitely not breed your dog, Amanda, um, or Armando. Sorry, my eyes are bad. Um, Armando, I definitely would not breed your own dogs. Um, I would leave the breeding up to the dog breeders that that know what they're doing. Um, almost any reputable dog breeder would definitely 
I, I don't know why I put her on this. Almost any reputable uh, Yorkie breeder would definitely not want you to breed you, one of their dogs. So I, I would definitely recommend, breed, you know, against breeding them for sure. I think it's a really bad idea and there's so many dogs that need homes. So um, no, I would say no. <laughs> um, Tiffany says, I thought I found a great Yorkie show breeder here in um, Missouri offering older Yorkies, but she doesn't want her dogs going to homes with other pets. Um, that is weird. Oh, that's so strange, Tiffany. Um, Tiffany, if you want, um, I don't know if you follow me on my Instagram, but um, follow me on Instagram. Um, my I've got Megan Graham Beauty or Megan Graham Fitness and just send me a direct message and I can, I can give you a comment about that as well. Um, but I would cross, that's so strange. I would think most show breeders would be so excited and they would want you to, um, I mean, why wouldn't they want you to have a Yorkie with another Yorkie? That's like the best possible situation you could have, right? Um, for sure. You're welcome, Armando. And I'm sorry I called you Amanda. My eyes are not that great and I have a light behind me, so it was hard to see. Um, but I hope you and your Yorkies are doing really well and happy Thanksgiving as well. Oh, Poppy, do your eyes feel so much better? She really needed this. Oh, you're a good girl. I feel like my weekend went so quickly because I just got off of work. I work on Saturdays um, because I own a hair salon. And so I worked Saturday and I just had yesterday off. And then today I was really busy with my filming and stuff. And now it's already time to go back to work. Um, so that's kind of crazy. Hello, LJ. It's so nice to see you. It's been so long since I've seen you and I have not been um, on my my YouTube live streams that much, but I just finished up filming today and I thought I would just impromptu hop on here to chat with you guys a little bit while I was grooming the babies. Um, it's going to be a little bit dark by the time I go out, but I feel like if I don't groom them before we go out, then it's hard for me sometimes to be motivated after. Um, because I start like cooking my dinner and, um, you know, getting ready with other things. So anyway, how are you though, LJ? It's so great to see you here. Um, welcome back. Are you getting ready for the holidays and things with your family? I was just saying, um, Jeff and I are going to have a really nice holiday. We are going to a really nice steakhouse in Boston to have, um, to have our holiday dinner. And then um, we're meeting up. One of Jeff's favorite golf buddies is coming with us. And then my best friend, Dan, um, is also a good friend of Jeff's. We call him Vegas Dan, but he's really British Dan. So he is coming out as well. And it's going to be really, really fun. I'm so excited. Um, so yeah. And we're also going to decorate our tree this week. So it's over. Let's see if I can angle it so you guys can see. So my tree is over there, kind of a mess this way, but um, I hung a few ornaments just to see if Simba would attack them. And so far, so good. He's just like nesting under the tree and relaxing under it, which is super, super cute. Um, tilt this down so you guys can see Poppy a little bit better too. Um, but so yeah, he's it's not ruined yet, which is really great. Um, it's my first fake tree that I've ever had, and I think it is the most beautiful tree I've ever seen. I'm super, super happy with it. I got it from a place called Fortune Offs, and um, I don't think the cat, I don't know, maybe he's going to go after the ornaments, but so far it has been no problem, which is awesome. Um, Leo says, hello, I like your Yorkies. Thank you so much, Leo. I like my Yorkies too. They are really great little puppies. Um, they continue, by the way, I've been still giving them their little pet detox and they've just been doing better and better. I can't believe, I, I'm honestly shocked. I know that I've done really well with my human detox, but um, they just seem so much better and healthier. So very happy with the results of that. And it's been easy to give it to them. Oh my gosh, what a little baby. So cute. So cute. LJ says, yes, it's getting dark so fast now. It really is. And I've been good in Maple too. She had her first heat cycle, so that was fun. 
<laughs> she, I bet it was. I've never had a dog go into heat, but it's probably not that fun, is it? She will be getting thick soon. And yes, the house real is ready for family for Thanksgiving. That is so nice. Um, super, super nice. Yeah, it's just dark so early now, LJ. And it's been really tough for our walks and things. Um, I've been trying to get the city of Boston to fix some lights in the park because it's been super, super dark in the park, which just doesn't feel that safe. Um, so I feel like we've been going on some pretty short walks. Um, most of the time during the day, I'm usually working like filming and doing things. Um, today, I also had an interview because I'm hiring someone new for my salon. Um, so it the interview went really well on the phone and she's coming in to have a trial day. So really hoping she works out. She seemed like a super nice person. And I don't really hire for skills. I hire for personality because as long as someone is nice and honest, I can teach them how to do anything. Um, but that's, I, I think that's the most important thing is hiring someone for my business that is a really nice person. So fingers crossed, she was smiling on the phone and very, very personable and things like that. So could be a good fit, which will be really good. Wow, Poppy doesn't usually get very tangled, but I feel like this feels sort of like extra to me. And when I, and this is like a little bit shorter, but I don't know what happened. The last haircut, they've got a lot of extra hair back here and they're a lot shorter here. And I think that their hindquarters need to be taken down a little bit, um, a little bit shorter, if you will. Um, LJ says, oh, you, you've seen it on my Instagram about, the lights and I hope she works out. Yes, I've been trying so hard to get the lights fixed. It's so crazy, LJ. I called the mayor's office and I was on the news. And I mean, it's like I've called the Department of Public Works, but it's been about a month and there's eight huge lights out. So it's super dark there. Um, and I just, it's so crazy that, I mean, I have a lot of, I basically have a lot of connections in Boston and even I'm having trouble getting it fixed. So I can't even imagine what if somebody didn't, you know, um, you're a good girl, Poppy. Let's do Alfie now. Come on. He's over here like a little prince on his pillow as he likes to be. And he really needs, oh, he's a mess. He really needs to be brushed. He's such a mess today. You're a good boy. You're a good boy. Um, so anyway, hopefully I'll get it fixed. And um, yes, hopefully she will work out as well. I mean, obviously, if she doesn't work out, that's that's sort of like the way it's supposed to work out too. So I'm always pretty patient when it comes to finding a new employee um, because they really need to be a great member of the team. And, um, you know, it's really important that they're really nice. LJ, I would think that they would want to fix it for safety as well. Um, somebody got basically, so on the street really close by to there, someone got attacked at about 7.30 at night the other night. And this is a like a very nice part of town. So it definitely puts me on my guard with things like that. And I feel like fixing lights is just so basic, but the lights are super, super high up. So it's not like I could go and fix the light or anything like that. Um, but yeah, it's kind of a funny thing. I feel like the city of Boston this year has really gone downhill in how they take care of it. And it's a really super, super, super expensive city to live in, like almost as expensive as New York. So um, I don't think we'll always live in Boston, to be honest. It's sort of like uh, it's so expensive and it's, you know, there might be other cities that we eventually might want to live in instead. Um, I'm so curious, like, guys, what are some of your favorite dog friendly cities? I feel like one of the things that I'm really concerned about is like, having fun places to walk with the puppies and, um, you know, having like a nice community and also a place where dogs walk that are on leash just because our little Yorkies are so small. So it's nice if, you know, people actually do keep their dogs on a leash because if there's a lot of big dogs that are running around and they're not on leashes, it can get pretty dangerous for our small dogs. Um, guys, if you are on the chat and you haven't introduced yourselves or said hi, please totally feel free to jump into the conversation, even if you just want to say hi and you want to say that you have a Yorkie or anything about the channel or what city you're from. Um, it's a super, super friendly channel, so we always love it. Anybody that wants to join the conversation or if you have any questions at all, um, I always love to hear from you guys. And I don't know, there's just something so 
it's so lovely to talk to you guys and just have like such a great community of like-minded people that also love their puppies. Some I know sometimes people are on here that don't have Yorkies, but they just really, um, they like to do their research, which I really admire. I think it's so smart to research everything that you do. Um, that was one of the things that I said in my in my video that I just made today about Smile Direct Club, I was like, I really wish that I had done my research before because once I started looking for YouTube videos and things, there were there was actually a lot out there that wasn't really positive, but I just didn't do my research before. And also, if you guys have not hit the like or hit, not hidden, sorry, I'm forgetting how to speak. Um, if you've not hit the like button um, up there in the corner, I would totally appreciate it if you would. Um, it makes such a big difference for my channel. If you guys get on there and let, ins or not Instagram, YouTube know that you like, um, you know, what we're talking about or kind of being on here and having this experience with everybody else. So thank you so much for your support with that. Um, my YouTube had one of its biggest months this month, which was super exciting for me. It was really growing and um, I've been enjoying, I have some different content because I make content about different things that interest me. And I was a little bit nervous about doing different content. I know that my Yorkie content is the absolute favorite, but there's also so many other things that I really enjoy talking about and, you know, sort of like sharing that info and that learning and things. Um, and it's still, it's still grown a lot. And I think like, it's been fun to make videos about different things that I enjoy. So anyway, thanks for, thanks for sticking around and coming in and being a part of it. I really am always happy to like, see you guys. I was sort of very busy today, but I wanted to at least jump on for a little mini live stream. LJ says, I would think nice cities in New Hampshire or Maine. I love the East Coast. Um, so LJ, I don't know if you know, but I am actually from New Hampshire originally. So I grew up in a really small town in New Hampshire. We had a little farm. Um, my husband always says that's why I'm a really nice person because I grew up on a farm selling chicken eggs for 99 cents. Um, and I do love New Hampshire a lot. So we are definitely thinking about in the future getting a very small home in New Hampshire, like almost, I don't know, like a cabin or something, um, something that we could be in during the, during the summer months and, you know, like maybe like late spring, summer, fall. Um, I think eventually we probably want to be somewhere warmer um, during the, you know, during the winter months and stuff. Like we're eventually thinking about Florida or um, Arizona. Those are some places that we were thinking about. I know there's a lot of other nice places too. I've just never really lived um, anywhere else. So it's sort of like we're starting to brainstorm a little bit for, you know, maybe a few years in the future where we might like to be and what kind of life we might want to make. Oh my goodness. He is so, so, so tangly. The poor little guy. He's so cute. I also, it's so funny. I have so many animals to groom. The cat, I'm still sort of catching up on him. He has probably his fur is as dense as Alfie's fur, which is super, super crazy. Um, he, the cat is like, a he's amazing to groom. He has a totally different tool too. Um, <laughs> says, ah, oh, beautiful. Can't wait to put mine up. My cats like to play around the tree, but nothing too bad. Um, thank you so much for the compliment on my tree. It was, I put it up really early and I was hemming and hawing about, you know, oh, I just kind of like, I was like, it's too early. I shouldn't put my tree up, but the, so the tree arrived in a box and it was so massive that I just didn't really know where to put it. Let me just tilt this down so you can see him a little bit more. He's so cute. He's so cute and he really needs to be groomed. Um, but it was so massive and I thought, oh my gosh, it's just going to look better to have at least a Christmas tree up than to have, a, now you can't see me at all, than to have a huge um, box. And I have to say that um, it's beautiful. I'm so happy that I put it up early. Oh my goodness, you're a little disaster, aren't you? Um, I'm so, so happy though that I put it up early and now we can just appreciate it. Um, and it's so funny, but as much as I was like complaining about putting it up so early, 
I get so excited to turn on the lights every night. Um, and even in the morning, I turn them on sometimes. It just looks so beautiful to have it in here. Um, and I just had all my Christmas ornaments delivered out of storage. So we will put those on when, um, you know, when I think probably like right after Thanksgiving or something. Um, LJ is asking if I got the living vehicle. So LJ, I haven't yet. Um, we're working on figuring out where the heck our down payment for that living vehicle is going to come from. So if you want to get a new one, you need to put a 50% deposit down on the um, living vehicle, which is like a lot of money. Um, so we haven't really figured it out yet. Um, Jeff is working on doing some things with his business. And what we're really hoping will happen is that um, if you guys haven't seen my living vehicle video, it's an amazing travel trailer, like the most incredible thing I've ever seen. Um, so anyway, we are hoping that one comes available that's used because you only have to put 10% down. And honestly, I don't care if it's used at all. I almost prefer it um, because for me, it's like you would you're not usually going to be the first ones to live in a house and they sort of refurbish them and they put them, you know, they put new mattresses in and new soft goods and things. So to me, it would be just like new. And if anything, I think that the people that owned it first would most likely, you know, be working out some of the kinks. Probably it would like break down with them instead of us. So we're just hoping that one comes available, um, possibly like in the spring or summer, um, I think it'll be better timing for us because if we got it now, we would really just put it into storage. So we'd be paying payments on it and putting it into storage. Um, and so if you do the 50% down option, it's an 11 month lead time. And I feel like that's, you know, they're really nice people, but that's what they say for lead time. And because there are, as you guys know, so many supply chain, you know, interruptions and delays and things, I think 11 months could be 12 months or 13 months. And so you're putting 50% down and then you have to wait all that time to get something. So hopefully our dream living vehicle, you know, opens up. There's actually a used one for sale on their website now. Um, it's not with all the specifications that we want. So we want one of the newer ones because of course, every single year they've improved it and it's a pretty young com company. So every single year they've improved what they've done. They've worked out some of the kinks and it's gotten better. So I think the one from last year had the first full size fridge. Um, the solar power is way better. So you can actually be off grid and not at a RV resort for 16 days running, you know, your AC, your blow dryer, all your stuff. Um, so we really want one where we can be off grid because we think we might want to go to um, BLM land and places where basically we can just like stop our travel trailer and stay places where we don't have to have hookups, which would be especially, especially convenient. So anyway, that's our, sorry, long, uh, long answer to a short question, but, um, I'm sure it will happen, but for now I'm just working extra hard and I'm going to add some days on working at my salon as well. Um, because I need to, I just had, um, I had two employees leave about um, probably, um, I don't know, four to six weeks ago, something like that. So um, it's kind of, it shook up my business a little bit. It was definitely a good change, but it still shook up my business. And I'm looking for someone to replace one of them and, um, and things like that. So for now, I will probably be the replacement employee, which might sometimes mean I get a little bit less done with my YouTube because I'm going to be working in person a little bit more, but hopefully I will figure out a way to be creative and get everything done that I want to get done. Oh my goodness. He's very, very tangled today. Poor little guy. He has such a messy face. What a baby. So the cat has been sleeping, not just in my room. He just hasn't been sleeping in the guest room anymore. And he just loves to like come and wake me up every once in a while. He's not very disruptive, but he comes in and meows and wants attention in the middle of the night. And I don't think that the dogs love that he's allowed in our room now, but the cat loves it. So it's okay.
Ooh, you live outside of Baton Rouge and there's lots of nice dog parks there. I have never been to that area. Um, I would really love to visit. And that's actually one of the things that we really want to do with our travel trailer is to bring it to different places, to experience different cities, to see um, what it is like having dogs in those places, you know, how welcome dogs are, um, what the people are like. So I'm definitely going to add that to my list is list of places to visit um, because I think in the next few years, Jeff and I want to, you know, think about doing something a little bit different um, and see what else is out there and where we might want to live. I've lived here for so, so long and I'm not moving right now, but um, I think it's like maybe time to have a new adventure. It's always really scary for me to think about moving because my family lives so close by and there is something nice about, I don't know if you guys also live close to your families, but my family lives, um, my brother lives about an hour from me and my mother is an hour and a half away. So it is nice to have that luxury of, you know, seeing your family whenever you want to, which is pretty great. LJ says, I love that off-grid feature. LJ, I do too. It's so funny. I learned so much from YouTube. And, you know, originally when we were thinking about a travel trailer, we really liked the Airstream and that's what I was going to go with. But the more that I learned about it, the more that I realized that you couldn't really be off-grid for a long time in your Airstream. And if you were off-grid, you were going to have to be willing to not use a lot of features that I would like to use most of the time. So that was definitely a drawback for me when I thought about, you know, having the Airstream and not being able to like run the two ACs all the time, unless you had a generator. Um, the thing that I love about the living vehicle is just, they built so much solar power, which really changes it. Um, when I made, I made my comparison video about living vehicle and the Airstream recently. And it's not that I, I like, I love Airstream. I think they're beautiful and they're a great quality product. I just think they do really different things. And we want to be able to have some, you know, real adventures for sure. LJ says, did you find someone to watch the pups and cat when you're at work? Um, LJ, I did. I actually um, found two young ladies, their best friends, and they are friends of my sweet assistant Skylar who moved to New York. Um, and they do a great job watching them. They love them. They're, they're super, super nice gals. Um, they have both, they have other jobs as well. So the only thing that's difficult is like, if I need more hours or if my schedule is changing, they really could only work the hours that they have, but that's, it's not that big of a deal. Like, you know, tomorrow I will be my own, uh, dog walker because I had to add a day tomorrow. Um, you know, so they're just stopping in for part of the day. Um, Angelina says, how many times a day do you groom your dogs? Um, only once, Angelina. I know that a lot of people groom their dogs multiple times a day. And I do think that that's a great idea. Um, I just don't have the time to do it. It's definitely one of those things I didn't really think about when I got so many dogs, but it just takes so long to groom them. That said, I'm sure if I groomed them a second time, it would be pretty quick as opposed to the first time. I'm just doing like such a deep detangling when I do the first time. His body is like the hardest thing in the world to groom because he has so much hair. It's unbelievable. LJ, it really is great that I found them. I'm so, so happy. Um, for those of you guys that don't know, I went through several people trying to find a replacement when Skylar moved to, um, to New York City. I think this year, more than anything, it's just been so hard to find. I know you got some tangles. You got some tangles. I know. Don't get mad. He's making little like whiny crying sounds. I get it, but we've got to get the tangles out. They're not good for you. Um, so more than ever this year, I felt like people really just, they didn't want jobs and it's really still like that. So I've been looking for an employee at my salon and it's so funny, but people will write. So I've posted on Indeed a lot and people will write or they'll apply for the job, but I think it's so easy to apply for jobs these days. So you just like, 
I don't know what you do, but maybe you click to apply. And if you even ask them one question, they just don't even bother responding. So, I mean, I think that tells you everything about a person. And obviously I wouldn't want somebody that can't even be bothered to respond to me, to work for me or with me rather. But um, it's really a tough kind of market out there when you're trying to find anybody to work for you because it feels like people just, I don't know. They, it's when I was, I've been working since I was 13 and I just feel like it feels like a lot of people just don't want to work anymore, which is so strange to me. I mean, I'm pretty sure like I have to work to, to pay my mortgage and all, you know, my vet bills and things like that. So I would, I would think most people do too, but I just don't know where all the people are that want jobs this year. So kind of funny. Hello, Darkie. How are you? Thank you so much for joining and for saying hi. It's nice to have you on here. I'm just grooming the babies. I got on a little later than I usually do. So decided to set my lights up slightly differently. I love it when I have natural light when I'm filming, but um, to, a lot of times I do my live stream and then I film my video, but then it's so dark by the time I finish because as you know, I love to talk. So I decided to flip it around today and do my live stream after my grooming. Um, so it's a little bit darker, but I think it's fine. I've got plenty of lights and things. I think you guys can see me. Oh my goodness. He is such a good little puppy. He's so good. So he gets so excited when we are going out on our walk and I'm sure he'll, he'll do it, especially today because he's going to be completely worked up because it's later. Um, so we walk by my neighbor's apartments on the way out and he's like, barking as loud as he can on the way out because he's so excited to get outside. He just loves his walking time. Lola, are you going to be next? So Lola went with me to the salon the other day and I feel like I can just tell that she's getting so, so, so much better. So we, um, we were there and not that I think it's the best thing ever, but she was barking at one of my clients nonstop um, I believe it's because the client has Dobermans and I saw Lola run over to the client and sniff her. And then after she sniffed her, she just wouldn't stop barking at her. Um, so she was, she was being so funny. Obviously that wasn't super good and she wasn't stopping, but I still thought it was kind of good that she had the energy to be barking at the client, even though I would have rather she not. I feel like she's getting her sass back and that makes me feel so happy. So we're all, we've all been, it's crazy how long it takes, but we've all been working on getting our health back after living in a moldy apartment for several years, basically. And it's so interesting. The other day I thought about it and knock on wood, because this is on wood. Um, when we were living in our moldy apartment, we probably went to the ER with the dogs about 15 times in two years and since we have had our new condo, we have been to the ER zero times. So everybody was getting so, so sick. Yes, I know. I'm sorry. You were getting so sick when we lived there. And they're doing so well now, which makes me super happy. So it says, you're exactly right. So many stories, et cetera, or stores now have hiring signs. They can't get... The position's filled. I don't know what people are doing. I'm 62 and work from home. Isn't it so funny? I just, I don't understand what they're doing. I mean, I, if I didn't work for three weeks, I would need money. I mean, I just like, I have a lot of expenses and things I need to do. So I, I don't really get it. It's so funny. And even the other day, I actually, I'm just going to get Lola because she's not voluntarily going to come to me. Um, so the other day, a, a young lady had written me about wanting to come in um, to the salon for an interview. And so I wrote her and said, you know, would you like to come and actually be at the salon for a few hours and, and meet everybody? Lola looks like such a mess and she gets mad when I hold her like this, but she's, she's my little spirit animal. So anyway, she said, yes, she would like to come in. She would like to meet everybody. That would be great. So then I wrote her back and said, great, would you like to come in from... 1 to 3 p.m. Um, and she never wrote back. And so I waited. I thought maybe she's just hasn't read it yet or she's busy or she has another job. Um, and then in the morning, because I, I sort of needed to know what the schedule was, I wrote her and said, 
you know, could you just let me know if you're planning on coming today or not coming? That would be great. Um, so she never wrote me. And I mean, she just basically ghosted and disappeared. And I wouldn't have been mad if she just wrote and said, I mean, I wasn't really mad anyway. I feel like it just sort of let me know the kind of person she was, obviously not somebody I would hire, but it's just such a funny little thing. Um, I think to be a professional, it's really important to just be courteous. And if, if you're not going to come in for an appointment or something like that, just to say, you know, I've had a change of heart and I don't think this is going to be a good idea for me, um, but thank you for the opportunity. But that's not something that seems to happen a lot these days. And so, you know, that's just kind of funny to me. But anyway, such is life. Um, she wasn't the right person, but I just, I thought it was so funny because she had sent a really nice cover letter and I thought it was really strange that she didn't write back. So, oh my goodness, Lola really needs a little grooming. I gave her a quick grooming when I was at work. And so she is not super, super well groomed. She has the, oh, she has the most tangly hair out of all of my dogs. The girls have been extra, extra bossy lately. They've been totally bossing the cat around and um, also, actually, Poppy and Lola got into a fight on the couch yesterday. I don't know who started it, but usually if they get into a fight, it's like five seconds and it just sort of, they, they end it on their own. But they were really going at it for like 15 seconds. And I will say, Poppy has teeth and Lola doesn't. So I finally just, I split them up. But even after I split them up, Lola was still being pretty fierce and kind of trying to get poppy. So I don't know what it was about, but just every once in a while, they get really bent out of shape, kind of like, I guess, regular siblings, right? Um, but I, I couldn't believe it. Jeff and I were on the phone and it was like, he couldn't see them, but he could hear them. We were on Zoom and he just couldn't believe how, how much they were fighting. He was like, girls, stop that. Um, he loves them so much. They're definitely both daddy's little girls. Will you guys be having Thanksgiving at your homes or at someone else's home? Um, I'm always so curious what you guys are doing. And do you have any, um, do you make anything special for your for your dogs if it's Thanksgiving? Um, I always make sure that if my dogs have anything special, it's like very, very you know, not people food and maybe just a little something special. Like I've been known to make them a little bit of, I know it's really spoiling them, but I also know it's healthy, a little tiny bit of like fresh filet mignon that's grilled. And they love that. Um, that was Teddy's favorite thing. So when he got really old and his appetite was not so good, um, I discovered I was grilling myself some filet mignon one day and he was begging for it. So I discovered he liked it and I wound up just feeding him filet mignon all the time because he would eat it. And I just wanted to give him anything that he would eat. Tiffany says, I think it is always best to make the best impression and people today just don't do that. It's so true, Tiffany. I just, I think it's so funny and, you know, it's a very small world too. So, and like, it's a, there are a lot of hair salons in Boston, but there are not a lot of really top salons. And I know most of the owners of most of the top salons. Oh, this is what he does, guys. He's not supposed to do this, but he's like a little mountain goat and Alfie just walks along the back. Yes, you do. Um, this is how it is every single night when we're sitting on the couch. It's so funny. But um, no, I, I totally agree though, Tiffany. And so word word can get around. Like when you do things like that, somebody might say, oh, do you know this person? Have they worked for you? Um, so I just, I feel like it's so important and you just never know when you're going to cross paths with someone. And if you've acted courteous, they're never, they're not going to be mad at you. I mean, even employees that I've had that, you know, per perhaps they don't work for me anymore. As long as they were like courteous and things like that, I would always say great things about them. Um, but I feel like, you know, when people are really, really poorly behaved, that is going to get around. So anyway, just who knows? People are so, so funny, but um, fingers crossed. I mean, if, if this person doesn't work, it is okay. 
I just actually need to work some additional days and I don't really have support staff right now because it's that hard. I know you don't like to be brushed, you little, you little baby. This is just your belly. You can let me brush the belly. Come on. Oh, she's being so cantankerous, little Lola. LJ says, our home, just cooking a lot, and it's Maple's first Thanksgiving. So excited. Oh, my gosh. You'll have to take some pictures for sure, LJ. I bet you she's going to just enjoy the, the day so much. Thanksgiving is one of my very favorite holidays, and it's such a great holiday with pets. Um, I was thinking about doing a live stream maybe next week about, um, you know, foods to be careful of around the holidays and things to watch out for um, with safety for our Yorkies. I feel like there's some things that people have around the house that they don't really think about that aren't safe for Yorkies. So I thought it might make for an interesting live stream to talk about that. Hi. Well, hi. Do you like? Do you like? Do you do you wanna? Do you like you good boy? He's so cute. <laughs> He's like a little toy. He needs a haircut so much though. Tiffany says, I have a bunch of dog cookbooks and pick a recipe to prepare for him on holidays. Oh my gosh, Tiffany, you are amazing. That is such a good idea. I didn't even know that they made dog cookbooks, but I think that's just a super, super great idea. Um, I always get into not like a bad argument, but a little argument with my older brother because he is always trying to, um, no, 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 no. Um, he's always trying to give the Yorkies human food. And I always tell him Lola has pancreatitis. It wouldn't be safe for her and they shouldn't get in the habit of having people food, but he tries and tries and tries. So, um, this year I think we'll probably just bring one of them with us and then leave two of them. I'm not sure who will bring, but probably leave two of them with the gal that's going to be um, watching them and walking the ones that are here. That way there will be enough of them here that they won't feel too disappointed. But one is pretty manageable at my mom's house. So when we go to my mother's house, my Yorkies spend the entire time trying to catch my mother's cats. Um, it's so funny because they have a cat here and they're fine with this cat, but they would love to catch my mom's cats probably more than anything. So I think just having one will be good because I can bring, I don't know if you guys have little side slings to carry your dogs around, but if I am needing to really keep an eye on them or, you know, if they're, you've got the little hiccups almost, little poppy, but if they're being naughty or something like that, it is so helpful to have the sling so I can just keep them off the ground and keep them from chasing the cats. Um, I have brought all of them home, but I feel like it's not usually that relaxing for me to eat. And this year we're going to be making, we're not going home on Thanksgiving. Um, we're going home after, and we're just going to make like an abbreviated, smaller Thanksgiving meal with my mom. So um, it'll be better not to have them because I can actually focus on cooking with my husband and, you know, all of that good stuff. Lola has so many less um, eye boogers now since she's been doing her detox. It is the craziest thing I've ever seen. There was a period in time where she, it, it almost seemed like she had cataracts because she had so much gunk in her eyes and, um, it really isn't happening anymore, which is fabulous. Um, she has not been itching like she was itching before. So I love, I get probably more excited about health progress than anything. Um, I don't think I was ever really that into my health until I stopped being healthy. <laughs> and then when I stopped being healthy, it made me far, far, far more aware. So anyway, I get excited about my health and the puppy's health. Sorry, I'm getting a little bit of pet hair on my nose while I groom. Well, guys, I always love coming on and chatting with you. And um, I hope that you all have the most amazing Thanksgivings with your family. I'm going to be with my husband and with my little, she just gets so mad. She's like, I don't want to come on, Lola, Lola, come on. You want to sit like this? Let me show you how cute she is. That's a good girl. Look at that. She's so beautiful. I love this little puppy. Lots of dog hair here, as you can see. What a good girl. Yeah, 
She only likes to be held like this. But guys, I hope that you have a really wonderful Thanksgiving with your families. And um, just wanted you guys to know that I'm thankful for you guys. And I hope you give your puppies a hug and a kiss for me that day. And I will definitely be back on at some point next week with a live stream as well. Um, I thought about doing a live stream while Jeff and I were decorating, but I'm like, I think people would probably be bored with that. Um, but it will be really, really fun. And we are going to run outside and take a little, a little walk for now. LJ, thank you so, so much. She says, thank you and have a happy Thanksgiving. Tiffany says, happy Thanksgiving to you and your family. LJ, happy Thanksgiving. Tiffany, Tiffany happy Thanksgiving. Um, I hope you guys have a great day. Um, you eat lots of delicious things and um, you get into the swing of the holiday season. I know I'm going to uh, enjoy it this year. I feel like I kind of didn't get to last year and it's going to be a really, really nice season. Um, I'm just excited to spend time with family and friends. So guys, I will see you guys really soon. Have a wonderful evening. And if you have any other questions or comments, feel free to leave them. This, this um, video will be posted, so feel free to leave them. And I've got all my usual links and things below in the description if you need any links from me. Thank you for coming. See you guys soon. Bye.